What's going on you guys? This is MaxKD. I have another Dell Precision T3500. I'm going to be a CPU upgrade show you how to do that. So you're going to move the side cover panel. And you will need a flat, uh, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver. And you're going to lift this up like this. This little secure clip lift like this up. And you're going to remove the memory shroud here just just keeps keeps it cool so we're gonna get this removed now you're gonna there are four screws two in the bottom two in the top You're gonna lift it up like this, and first you're gonna do is uh, you'll need a rubbing alcohol. Then you're gonna take a paper towel, and you're gonna wipe down the old thermal compound off the CPU. I'll go like this. So there's a you know, lift this up like this, and it comes out. So basically, I have both. So this is a quad core. This is a six core Xeon 5650. I'm going to be installing, and I'm going to put this one like this now. And the way you install it back is you'll see there's a little cutting edge right here in the left and right, and one in the corner. So that's the same way you're gonna install it like this. See this little corner pointing the arrow? This is how you're gonna install it like this, the same way you see it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a uh, put this down and we have to remove the old thermal compound from the heat sink CPU cooler so to do that you just need a you're gonna get a, either credit card or debit card you have and you're gonna go like this show you guys I'm gonna scrape it off Now you're gonna take uh, again paper towel and rubbing alcohol. It's uh, I'm using 91% like this, and just apply it. That's good enough. Be really careful. Take this. I'm gonna get this removed because I don't want to get this old thermal compound on the motherboard. Lift this up. Now I'm gonna take a thermal compound and just apply it right in the middle. That's good enough. You guys can use uh, Arctic Civil 5, Arctic uh, MX2 or MX4, those, uh, those, are the, those are the best thermal compound I like. So I'm going to go ahead and install back the... Install the heatsink back. So it will be like this, how you going to install it. 
just align it and install it back. So we're gonna start it from like this. And just check each uh, each screw, make sure they're not loose. But don't. This one's good enough, and you're done. So we're gonna close this up and install the memory shroud back. And basically, the T35 and uh, the T5500 they're using the same uh, fan shroud, but using a different heatsink. See you guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.